We are learning more about the investigation into the death of a pregnant woman found in Bastrop County. Samantha Dean was a victim services counselor with the Kyle Police Department. Authorities have yet to make an arrest in her death. Today we revealed new details about the testing for Samantha Dean's unborn child. Mainly, authorities want to find out who the father is. KXAN investigator Kevin Schwaller takes this deeper look at the labs now involved in this case. We first told you at 6 that the Bastrop County Sheriff confirms the fetus was sent to the University of North Texas, which he says is nationally recognized for work in forensic DNA analysis. We found the UNT system has what's called the Center for Human Identification. We told you DNA could play a role in determining who the father of Dean's child is. Well, the center has a unit for paternity testing, the first of its kind at a university in Texas. To make this test work, the lab also needs DNA samples from Dean and a potential father. The center also has another division that looks at unidentified remains. The University of North Texas also analyzed DNA when investigators found the remains of two-year-old Colton Turner. At the time, they needed to confirm the boy's identity. To give you an idea of how important this lab work is, the Center for Human Identification helped solve missing persons cases in 44 states. Right now, the Bastrop County official in charge of releasing the autopsy report tells KXAN the county sent the child's DNA off, but she's waiting to hear more from a medical examiner to release more information. We'll check back and let you know what we find. Kevin Schwaller, KXAN Investigates. DNA testing can also be used in cases involving adults. In November, Austin Police and the U.S. Marshals sent DNA from remains found near the Colorado River to the University of North Texas. Scientists were able to confirm the bones were the remains of Kevin Patrick Stoser, a convicted sex offender who escaped from the Austin Transitional Center in 2013. In that case, DNA helped confirm what dental records could not.